Hey, this is Cold Nation. We're sitting down with Davy Bales of the Wraith, interviewing him about his new album, Gloom Ballet. Yo, yo, what's up? All right, Davy, you've been making music since you were a teenager. What's the reason you got into music? Um, uh, just a really good way to express myself, you know, like, you know, just like any musician. Um, I just looked up to a lot of bands and shit when I was younger, and I, and I started off with piano for a little bit but that didn't go too well and just playing guitar and started um you know started my first punk band and just been doing it ever since i guess you know um i i kind of use uh playing music as a way to travel because it's it's you know really expensive to do shit by yourself so i thought that would be a good way to be in a band is just travel and just you know play music you know yeah yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Do you see music as playing a different part in your life these days compared to when you're younger? Uh, in a more professional way, I'll say that for sure. You know, when I was a kid, you know, starting off, just you know, I really wasn't good, and I've kept, I've been doing it for so long now that it's become like a, a more of a professional thing than just being stupid. Like, hey, let's just like record these songs. You know, it's more like a, I'm, I'm using my voice as an instrument more so than just screaming and being, you know, bland, you know? Yeah, definitely. So you were in a handful of bands, and then you were in Lost Tribe, and then you were in Shadow Age, and now you're in The Wraith. So how does uh, playing in those different groups differ? Uh, the Wraith is um, challenging when it comes to songwriting. Um, the Lost Tribe and Shadow Age were kind of, you know, not so structured, I guess I should say. And I've become a better musician being in the Wraith because of Kaz, you know, writing the songs and working with him has has been a, a bit of a bit of a challenge because I'm trying to sound different and not go back to the way I used to sing. I'm trying to actually like write more songs and like get better at song structure. So it's definitely it makes me feel more professional. Cool. And you're doing poetry now. When did you start writing poetry? Uh, when I was 12. I started writing when I was 12. And um, i just been doing it ever since. But decided to um, release these like zines I have called Dead Flowers about two years ago. And um, I've been just writing. And I write the poems and I use them for songs. And then I take the poems and I just make a book out of them. Cool. And does poetry play an integral role in your music writing? Or would you make music without writing poetry? No, I have to write to... to, Because, you know, I, I want to, you know, have good lyrics. So I write poetry and practice poetry to express myself in a more, um, I don't know, dynamic and interesting way. So I have to write to be able to 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 do the lyrics, you know. I mean, I, lyrics are poetry, in my opinion. So totally, yeah, it just makes sense. Yeah. So how did the wraith form? Um, I moved to LA in 2015, and Kaz moved here at the same time. Um, I think I met him hanging out um, at a show, and he had already had some songs written. And um, we just kind of went to the studio together and recorded the song, Comatic Romance, that he wrote. And then from there, we just, you know, got people to play um, in our band. Cool. And the lineup has changed a little bit. Do uh, you want to tell me a bit about that? Or Yeah, uh, we've, shit, I've probably kicked out like five or six people. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of nutbags in L.A., I'm sure you know, so... A lot of people weren't as serious as we were or they were showing up drunk or not really showing interest in like really trying to be serious with the band. So we uh, have a lineup now, which is pretty solid. We have Scott, um, Scott Rayner from Blink-182 on drums, Paul Rogers, who is a um, music journalist. He's been working for magazines for a long time. He plays bass and, of course, Kaz guitar and uh, I sing. Cool. Sounds like a sick lineup now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty so, legendary. Cool. 
Uh, listening to the new album, it sounds like way less uh, punk in terms of production than this this new one. Now it sounds way more like a professional recording, like something produced really highly. That wouldn't be weird for you to hear on the radio. Not necessarily the content, but just the production level. Um, yeah, I know. Is that uh, Was that intentional? Do you want it to yeah. be pretty high production? Okay. Yeah, for sure. Of course that was intentional. I, I want things to come out clear and show our talent in, in the songs. But um, we recorded that, that record with Matt Mitchell. And he's in a band called Pussifer, which is the lead singer from Tool's band. He's worked with... Um, you know, Love and Rockets and uh, Trent Reznor and stuff like that. So we just wanted to just kind of check it out. And you know, I personally, I personally like clear production. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted it to stand out and for you to hear everything that, you know, we're writing. So I love it. And I, and I, when I listened to it, when we first started recording, I was like, yeah, this is exactly how I wanted to sound. And um, it's, it's been the shit. Cool. So you think you're going to keep uh, high production? Yeah. Value. Sure. Cool. 100%. Yeah. Where do you see the Wraith going next? Do you got any big tour plans? Uh, yeah, our booking agent is going to set up some tours for us in 2020. And um, uh, in the meantime, we're, our record is releasing on Friday um, through our label, Southern Lord, which is going to be released worldwide. And... Um, we're actually right working on the next record right now too. So we're we're staying busy and, and touring. We're gonna to be touring next year for sure. Cool. Good to hear. I can't I can't say out anything specific because it's not set in stone, but you guys will definitely know about it. Right on, right on. And where can listeners get the album on Friday? Uh worldwide. Uh, okay. you can get them at the local record stores, you can buy it online, you can um you know Order it. I don't know how you yeah, anywhere, honestly. Okay. From cool. yeah, anywhere. And you recently went sober, right? A couple months ago. No, I've been sober for a long time. Oh, actually. okay. Yeah, I've been sober for off drugs. I've been sober for like two years more. Okay. And I just I recently, like in the last half year or seven months, I haven't really been drinking that much. Cool. Like, I used to do it every day and, like, just make it a habit, and I got fat, and I looked like shit, and I wasn't taking care of myself, so, um, I don't know, I just don't really care about drinking anymore, I want to be more clear-headed and, and uh, you know, have a clear outlook on life, you know, and what I want to do and shit, you know, I work out, I fucking, you know, do the band and shit, you know, I don't give a fuck about drinking, I don't, I don't need that shit to be happy anymore, you know? Cool, so you think But so I will, I will occasionally, like, celebrate have a drink, but for the most part, I don't even think about drinking. Sure. Cool. So you yeah. think you've done better as a musician since putting it down? Yeah, everything seems more real. I can focus a lot clearly, you know? It's not a bunch of bullshit. It's 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 the real deal, you know? Right on, right on. All right, uh, anything else you want to tell us before we go here? Um, to check out the album, Gloom Ballet, comes out on Friday, November 29th. Uh, we're going to be going on tour. In 2020, I'm sure you'll hear a lot more about us um, online, article, articles and magazines. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it, man. Cool. Just keep a lookout, huh? All right. Definitely. Well, looking forward to the album dropping. We'll see you then. <laughs>